hello and welcome in this video i'm going to show you how to add a store to your element account with the recent updates if you try to add a receipt you're going to see that you're going to get a notification that says add store first to get started before up upload receipt so you just click on them add store and then you'll be taken to the add store option previously on the previous website uh, before the update you could just type in the address that you're seeing on your receipt and you save and then you can upload the receipt much easier but element right now is used is used a technology called google maps or google api don't worry about the terminology but i'm going to try and do a separate video to explain the technology behind that and also i'm going to cover just part of that in this video as well so if you come here you're gonna get like uh enter three or more characters here to add a store so let's say like for instance i'm gonna give you my you need to type in some some keywords and then the first one that you need to type in is the name of the shop so i'm gonna say uh, i actually buy from pick and pay okay so if i say pick and pay i'm gonna go and see pick and pay uh mutu but mutuba tuba south africa hyper Devin, and if it shows there then i can actually click on that but mine is not there okay so what i'm going to try and do now as you can see that there is a Devin, there is different places then another, another keyword that you can actually use you can use uh the location the area of your city okay so i'm actually i stay in norton so i'm gonna type in norton and then there is um norton baza bangladesh uh in these other uh other shops so let me just mine is not still there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna type in not on zimbabwe okay because i'm actually doing this video from zimbabwe so as you can see there is um not on not on zimbabwe not on church not on uh cabs and all those things okay so now i have to think so this shop is called pick and pay pick and pay okay pick and pay uh pick and pay not on let me see still nothing found okay let me just um close this part okay i think i have strong spelling for not on there okay still nothing found so what i'm gonna try again is i'm gonna try and put in tm pick and pay because we buy from tm pick and pay okay tm pick and pay and um, tm pick and pay and then i would say not on let's see what comes up okay there we go i have it i have now tm pick and pay supermarket not on and then what i'm actually going to do is i'm actually going to just um enter this and then i'm just going to say uh add so the store has been added okay but as you can see there you can add more stores and here is i can actually remove this store okay now let me see if i can try and remove what happens let me see okay it's actually removed let me just add it back again um tm that was tm pick and pay not okay let me just select that again <clears throat> and then add it there now there are instances whereby you don't find your store and what you're gonna do is if you click on help here this is listen to the instruction they say searching for your store if your store doesn't come up try and find your store on google or google maps and use the name that shows you in the search here okay so let me just go to google I'm just gonna go to google and then i'm gonna go on google maps I'm gonna type in on Google here and just I'm just gonna type in search Google Maps on Google and as you can see there that there is uh Google Maps right there and then I'm just gonna click on that. So once I click on this, uh this is what is known as Google Maps. I'm gonna do a separate video of how this works and um in depth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh take this pop out and then you can just click this arrow and then so that this expands or collapses okay so what google maps is this is our world map okay and these are the streets and 
once you go on google maps normally it picks up your location okay so as you can see in my location this uh this is norton where i stay and there is a total service station and there is intellect college right there and then there is good care preschool and things like that so remember what we need to do we are not finding this tool that we need here okay number one what any business can actually do if their business is not here they can actually be added to a google maps and i'm going to do a separate video to do that because it's, it's another topic on its own so what it means let's say uh let me give you an example uh let me just give you an example right here so let's say you live in an area and you have a business like this one internet college is a college uh total safe station there's a fuel station so any business can be listed on google maps okay. any business can be listed on google maps it's actually good for business as part of advertising so let's say there is a supermarket that you can actually you are not seeing here on google maps you can actually approach them and say hey you need to list your business on google maps because uh, uh, that's one of the internet marketing uh, things that businesses should be doing anyway to get customers so um like i said let me not uh I, I, I don't want to confuse you. I don't want to confuse you, but let me just go back to the purpose of this video because this topic is, I'm going to show you how to add your business or any other business into uh, Google listings there. So here you're not finding this tool that you need to add here and you need to add it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in here on the search and then I'm going to type in Norton Shops. Okay, I stay in Norton, okay, in Zimbabwe and then you can see not on shops Zimbabwe or things like that. So I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna go and type in, uh, not on shops. So as you can see, these are all the businesses that have listed their their shops in Norton. So as you can see right there, we have got Ngoni shops, we have got um, Nyamunda shop, we have got uh, Chagwedera shops, we have got Okay supermarket norton i also buy from there there's galloway there is also a uh, norton uh, shopping mall i also buy there as well and all of these shops so now if you are not finding your store let's say this is the shop that we are actually looking for what i'm actually gonna do i've actually seen the name here it says norton okay norton supermarket so I'm, what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna come here and say okay norton Super. Okay, not on supermarket, and then it says uh, not found. Let me see if I if I the correct name right there. Let me just click on this. It's okay, not on supermarket. I suppose that's a capital letter O and K. Okay, there we go. I have it. So um, that's what I just did. Let me just show you again what I just did for it to show up. I didn't type manually so what i then had to do let me just repeat that again so this is what i had to do i had to search for norton uh, shops and then i hit enter okay i just wanted to follow uh this and then i'm just going to collapse this part okay once i collapse this part what i'm going to do is i need to add this shop to my element account what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the shop Okay, I'm going to click on the shop. Once I click on the shop, there's going to be a fly out that actually pops up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this text as it is. I copy it and then I come to element and then I paste it. Okay. And then wait for it to show and then um, click on add store. Okay, what's happening here? just refresh my page yeah, i don't know really i really don't know what's uh, what's actually happening and sometimes you may be attempted to add your location okay but um let me just okay and then uh the store has been added now i have two shops one is tm one is um, okay and then that's it so as by instruction that's how you do it and now when you need to add your receipt you just come on add receipt and then uh, now I can actually select which store that I have 
and then uh, items and then I'm going to do a separate video on how to um, add your receipt. So with that being said, thank you very much. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below this video. I feel that this video is long but it was important because you may be facing the same challenges as well. And if you like this video, please subscribe, share and leave a comment if you have any. With that being said,